Do you also want max FPS and zero input delay in Fortnite Season 3? In this video, I'm going to reveal how to get potato graphics on Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA GPUs to boost your FPS and eliminate input delay in Fortnite Season 3, even on a low-end PC. So let's get your system fully optimized right now. Step 1. Optimize Windows for best performance in Fortnite Season 3 to make sure your Windows computer is running as fast as it can for Fortnite Season 3. You need to turn off extra visual effects that slow down your system. First, click on the Windows search bar at the bottom left of your screen and type Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Then click it to open the Performance Options window. Inside this window, choose Adjust for Best Performance so that all unnecessary animations and effects are turned off. These visual effects can make your computer slower. However, to keep your screen looking nice and easy to read, check the two boxes for smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. The first one makes text easier to read, and the second one helps you see previews of files. After that, click Apply. Now go to the Advanced tab in the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This will make sure Windows gives more power to Fortnite Season 3 and other games instead of background apps. Once everything is set, click OK. These changes will make your system faster, help programs open quickly, and boost game performance in Fortnite Season 3. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Apply registry tweaks to improve performance in Fortnite Season 3. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To get even better performance, you can apply registry tweaks. These are small changes in the Windows registry that help your CPU and GPU work more efficiently. These tweaks help reduce lag, make loading times faster, and prevent FPS drops during Fortnite Season 3 gameplay. This is especially useful for people who are using mid-range or low-end PCs. Whether your computer uses an Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA graphics card, these tweaks will help Fortnite Season 3 run smoother and more efficiently. Making these small changes can really help improve your gaming experience and keep your system stable while playing Fortnite Season 3. Step 3. Boosting CPU performance by unlocking all processors in Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU has multiple cores, which are like small processors inside your main processor. But sometimes, Windows does not use all of them, and this can lower your performance. To fix this and make sure your CPU is using all its cores, you can use a free program called Park Control. First, download and install Park Control, then open it. Inside the app, scroll down and choose the performance plan you want to use. For the best results, select Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan helps your CPU work at its full speed. Now adjust the settings to make sure all CPU power is being used. Make sure the following settings are disabled and set to 100%. Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC. These settings keep the CPU cores from going into low power mode. After that, enable the setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This setting turns off unused CPU threads during light tasks like browsing, but turns them all on again during heavy tasks like gaming. Lastly, go to your power options in Windows and select Bitsum Highest Performance as your current power plan. Check that all values are at 100% to get the best FPS and most responsive system. Click Make Active and then click Apply. These steps will make your CPU run more efficiently, giving you smoother gameplay and better system performance overall in Fortnite Season 3. Step 4. Fortnite Season 3 – Potato Graphics Settings for AMD and NVIDIA GPUs You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, I will show you how to use Potato Graphics Settings for Fortnite Season 3 if you have AMD or NVIDIA graphics cards. First, open the folder for your graphics card. I'll start with NVIDIA since that's the one I am using, but I will also explain how to do it for AMD and Intel later. Open the folder called NVIDIA Potato Graphics. Inside, you will find a file called Fortnite Optimized Settings and a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Open NVIDIA Profile Inspector by double-clicking on it, and when asked for permission, click Yes. At the top, you'll see a profile section. In the search bar, type Fortnite and click on it when it appears. You will see the Fortnite Season 3 folder path in a green bar. Now click the Import button. Go back to the NVIDIA Potato Graphics folder on your desktop, select the file named Fortnite Optimized Settings, and click Open. After that, click Apply Changes in NVIDIA Profile Inspector to save everything. If you ever want to undo this, click Restore Current Profile to NVIDIA Default to go back to normal settings. When done, close NVIDIA Profile Inspector. 
For AMD or Intel users, go to the AMD Potato Graphics folder. Right-click on the file named Game User Settings and click Copy. Then press Windows plus R on your keyboard, type in percent local app data percent, and press Enter. Go to the folder Fortnite Game Saved Config Windows Client. Paste the copied file here and replace the one already inside. This file has settings that lower graphics, turn off grass, and add tweaks to reduce latency. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance in Fortnite Season 3. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To further boost performance, use a tool called MSI Utility. It helps reduce system latency and makes your hardware run more smoothly. After downloading, open the tool. You'll see a list of your hardware components. Look for your GPU in the list and check the MSI box next to it. Then, set the interrupt priority to high to give it more importance. Do the same for your integrated GPU, like Intel, if it's listed. Set its priority to high as well. When done, click Apply to save all changes and then close the tool. This will reduce input delay and help your system and Fortnite Season 3 respond faster. Step 6. Optimizing System Memory Using ISLC Program in Fortnite Season 3 You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. ISLC stands for Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This tool helps clean memory, RAM, and improves your PC's performance. First, find out how much RAM your computer has by looking at the top of the ISLC program window. If it says 16,000 meter B, then type 8,000 into the list size. Always set it to half of your total memory. Then check the boxes for Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon so it runs automatically. On the right, turn on Enable Custom Timer Resolution and set it to 0.50. Set the ISLC polling rate to 1,000 but if your PC is slow, change it to 1000. After setting all of this, click Stop, then Start, and finally click Purge Standby List. This clears unused memory and helps your computer run faster without slowdowns in Fortnite Season 3. Step 7. Reduce Keyboard Input Lag Using Filter Keys, Setter in Fortnite Season 3. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. This step will help make your keyboard respond faster when you're playing Fortnite Season 3. You'll need to use a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Open the tool and you will see a few settings that need to be changed. Set Ignore Under to 0 ms. Set Repeat Delay to 130 ms. ms. Set Repeat Rate to 10 ms. ms. After entering these values, check the box on the right to turn the settings on. Then, click OK to save them. This will reduce keyboard delay and make your typing and gaming input feel faster and more responsive in Fortnite Season 3. Step 8. Turn on Game Mode and adjust graphics settings for Fortnite Season 3 in the final step. We'll turn on Game Mode and make sure Fortnite Season 3 uses the right graphics settings. Go to Windows Settings and search for Game Mode. Turn it on. Game Mode helps your system focus on games and turn off background apps that slow down performance. Then, go to Graphics Settings. Click Browse and find the folder where Fortnite Season 3 is installed. Add Fortnite Season 3 to the list, click on it, and change its setting to High Performance. Click Save. This ensures your graphics card is being used properly for the best gaming results in Fortnite Season 3. If this guide helped you, please like, share, and subscribe for more Fortnite Season 3 and PC optimization videos. See you in the next one.